Hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim, where there is an Those awful lot of smoke coming out of there. there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Oh, that sounds lovely. Uh, so last episode, we had gone round, um, basically all about this girl. Um, Sven, this, oh, I don't, I don't press shift and tab. Why does it keep telling me I do that? Uh, this shift and forwards. So this chap over here was like, hey, this other elf is like um, getting in on my girl's territory. Can you give this like deceitful letter to her? And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk to the elf and see what he says. And he was like, ah, here, take this letter that I've got prepared. And I was like, well, that's a bit strange, but maybe. And then I went and, went and told her all about it. And she had a proper go at the elf, but was all fine with Sven. Meaning that this world is crazy. Crazy! But anyway, now she's supposed to be leading me to some um, bar barrows, bleakful barrows or something like that. Because um, her, her brother, Luca, or Lucian, or something like that, can't protect his own house, it seems. Um, so we're, we're going to step in and do it for him and uh, go punish the, the, the wrongdoers, as is my way. This way. Well, let's go then. Go, 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 go. Are we going to have to follow her at this pace the entire way? Anyway, let's start walking pace. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Really? Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Uh huh. that sounds like it's worth extra investigation. Don't you think so? Don't, isn't that not just a bit weird? Is that a bit weird? I mean, it's tempting to run back and ask him. But as we're on the edge of town now, it would be a little bit of a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, waste of time. <laughs> uh, so she stopped here. Uh, are you not coming? This way. Let's go. Your, your AI seems to be slightly defunct, madam. Let's keep moving. Wow. Uh, there's also quite sort of peasanty robes you've got on the go there. I mean, that's very boring colours. There's, uh, you know, we're in Skyrim, the world of like poisonous plants and bright things that kill you and and stuff. This and is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Throw a fit. How how does one throw a fit? I mean, do you, it's not exactly like you can pick it up and like, and even if you could, like that would be like the weight of a person or something, right? And that, that's a lot. That's, oh, I don't know about throwing it. I don't know why I'm in the water swimming. This, this is totally against my nature. And I'm like, meow, meow, meow. Uh, okay, so we're going up here and we're going to Bleakfall Barrow, somewhere over that way. Um, but at the moment, we're just going to watch this waterfall tinkling, tinkling, yes, tinkling down the side. Um, this is the path to the northwest, right? If we look at the map, yep, northwest. Okay, so on my own again, walking around. Uh, oh, I've got the mace. That's good. Oh look, there's a bird. If I had my bow, uh, can I? Do I have my bow? I've got a bow, uh, a long bow. Fine. Well, that sounded a bit, a bit petulant. It's a long bow. Fine. <laughs> But no, not not like that at all. It's, uh, and I caught a butterfly without cat, without realising it. That was my cat-like reflexes there. Oh, wolf. <laughs> more more cat-like reflexes as we get attacked by a, a wolf without realising it. Bad dog. Sit. <laughs> and we've got some wolf pet. Uh, we can improve armors and stuff with this. Now I assume that this tiny trail is the one that she was on about. Um, to be honest, if I wasn't told about it, I'd probably uh, probably lose it. What what's happened with these rocks here? Wow, the way the way they're balanced on this precipice is uh, quite quite interesting. Some would say unnatural. Perhaps we should ignore such things and uh, continue on our trek. Th this really is quite a uh, a rural and back backwater type path. I mean, you should imagine that uh, back in olden times, when the climate was a little bit warmer, all the all the water ran down there. No, see now it would pull up there. Oh well, well there seems to be um, some stuff over there, so I'm going to stop.
talking about random stuff and talk about the random stuff that's coming up like the snow and the the, the wind scree is it wind scree wind scree scree scrawl something like that all right I feel like I've walked off the path somewhere I I do feel that even if this was a badly maintained path uh, somehow I've oh oh hello are you a friend you don't look like a friend no, you're a bandit. Hello. Now, you also were close. Oh, wow. Oh, there's lots of them. Lucky hit. Just a couple more times. There we go. Put him down. Right. Uh, take cover. Here's another one to attack. Um, I'd like to take some magics at this point. Um, healing, in fact. Oh, and whilst we're here, should we poison this? Oh. Sneaking is not really what I intend to do. There are a lot of bandits around, and I can't see the one who's firing arrows at me. I'd really like to take them out before I take this guy out. But... He's up here. Hello. We just hurry up and take him down as quick as possible. Oh! I just hit him with my shield. That was good. And we've leveled up again. All right. Well, what we're gonna do is have a quick zoom around, and see if there's any red dots on my map. There's not. So that means we can, at leisure, loot these bodies and uh, improve my skills. So we'll take the steel battle axe uh, and the iron arrows, in fact. Because did you hear that? I heard a bird. My cat-like uh, reflexes were like, hmm, I should go capture that. Oh, well, this is a bit of a, a craggy outcrop, isn't it? It's, uh, it's a little bit unstable. I feel, I feel like I shouldn't really... Oh, wait, this isn't Minecraft. I can't crouch and not walk off the edge of stuff. <laughs> Good going. That's, that's uh, exactly the gaming skills that are, are going to win me the day. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just stop being a, uh, a bit of a fool and go around and loot all the good stuff here. Uh, I, iron shield? Do I want an iron shield? I'm currently using a hide shield. Am I not this? Oh wow! All this stuff is better than what I'm carrying. But is it heavy armor? I don't. I don't really. Heavy armor on a kajit sounds a bit weird. Sounds sounds a bit wrong. Uh, coin purse for a kajit sounds perfect though. Uh, what have we got out here? There's some more stairs. I am walking on that. Look at that. That's barely barely attached to the wall. Is there another way of getting up? There isn't. Ah, oh, you're, you're going to make me walk up that, aren't you? Ah, oh, please don't break on me. That would be very bad. It's quite a long drop. Oh, it is a very long... Oh, wow. Uh, should we see how long a drop it is? Let's use the, uh, the wonderful powers of the quick save. And... Uh, I don't know what my god's name is, but I'm going to screen that out anyway! Oh, that was a very long way. I did a little dance at the end, though. That was nice. Pretty. <laughs> Obviously, Skin is a well-known uh, dancer for, from elsewhere. Um, unfortunately, uh, because he was a such good, such a good dancer, that all the, uh, the female cats were, were interested in him. Uh, including the uh, king cats, uh, otherwise known as the fat cat's wife. Uh, and she, that wasn't liked very much, so I was uh, banished from elsewhere. And this is why I'm now in Skyrim, having to deal with the cold and all these bandits that just keep wanting to eat me. It's very unfair. I mean, it wasn't my fault. Uh, I just, I just practiced, you know. If if the fat cat had, uh, you know, put in the time and the effort to learn how to dance himself, maybe he could have wooed his lady properly and and stuff. So walking up some stairs, anyway. Uh, we're looking for this golden claw. <coughs> um, am I am I just like not at the right place? This is this is quite likely. Is it? Should we check my map because it's telling me I need to go over? <gasps> world map on the world map. Locations that you've discovered have light icons, while locations that you've only heard about have dark icons. All right, awesome. Um, Ah, I've got the wrong mission loaded, that's why. We're doing the Golden Claw, and we're going to get rid of the Before the Storm. Alright. Oh, yeah, no, I'm in completely... I'm on the wrong side of the mountain. Oh, wow, skin. Uh, that That's some navigational skills you've got there, my friend. Um, 
All right, yeah, sweet and stuffs. <laughs> oh, I really thought I'd done it there. I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, maybe, maybe I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're, we're going over. Oh, I am on completely the wrong side. Is, is there a way that, uh, to go through? Um, I can only assume that this path leads up and through. Um, it, it does look like a pass of some description. In fact, there's the peaks are on either side of me now, so I must be passing through. Yeah, look. See, oh, snowberries. Let's take some of them. Wow. So we're starting to hit whiteout conditions. Um, reminds me of the dust storm. Th oh, sneaking. So that must have been the guard tower then. Obviously. Um, yeah. I mean, what else could it have been? What else could it have been? Um, oh wow! I, I feel totally on edge here. Um, I'm not sure what's what's going on or where I'm going to encounter people. I'm feeling sneaking is the the way to go here. If we could, if we can get up and I don't know, do them some damage <laughs> before that. Oh, who spotted me? What? Hey, where? Up there, him. Oh, I see him on my map, but. Well, how rubbish is the sneaker am I then? I mean, oh, I've not leveled up either. Oh, that that would be that would probably be useful before we enter into this barrow. Um, we do seem to have a lot of bandits coming though. So if I can set a, an ambush up somehow, uh, oh god, here he comes! Wish me luck, guys. Go! Oh, there's so many of them. Uh, Skyrim might very well belong to the Nords, my friends, but this is a not multicultural society nowadays, and we will not take such flagrant racism, I suppose. I mean, like, just because the Imperials won the war, you guys think that you have the right to whinge about it. Um, right, let's poison my, my, my stuff. And maybe we can take... So there's two archers up there. Do we rush them? Let's rush them. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's all the way up some stairs. Run, 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 run. <laughs> uh... Stop trying to get distance on me. God, it's almost like he's been trained into how to be a proper archer. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Right, got one down. Ne next archer. Where is he? Behind this post. Do you? That's good. I, I kind of love having it easy, to be honest. Oh, oh, where's he gone? Oh, oh. Oh, it's more combat style fight on a bridge. Finish him. There we go, got him. That's my finishing move, where I smack him in the face with the uh, with a mace. Uh, might not be the most impressive, but I find it is very effective. Right, right. Let's uh, go around and loot the body. Wait, no. Before we do that, level up. Let Let's get this right. Okay, so um, attribute to advance. My health seems to be taking batterings again. So let's do that. Okay, awesome. Um, right, so last time... Last time we did uh, block skills, I believe. Which, you know, it's quite good. Um, I wouldn't mind being able to do more damage this time. And in fact, I've got the skills to do it. So let's do more damage. Alright. Hmm. Now... Let's have a, a quick look through it, see if there's anything I want. Because I'd like to get my enchanting skills to be better. Um, mainly because I'd like to be able to make better magical items. Though I think that what I'm going to do on my enchanting is to buy almost all my levels and then possibly put perks in at later points. Um, I definitely need to be a bit more combat orientated. I mean, did, did you see how much damage I took that time? I mean, I could have died. That would have been terrible. <laughs> like, terrible, terrible. Um, right, let's raid this this racist Nord over here and get all his stuff. <laughs> Saying that, he's got not much stuff for a lot of weight, so we're not going to do that. Uh, and I'm picking up all these arrows, despite the fact that I'm not really using my bow. Uh, maybe I could have done that a bit more. Would have made it a bit more effective. And start. Did I actually? No, no. I thought that guy was naked there. Let's um. Let's just hide him from the middle of the path. You know, if, if his friends come along, we don't want them to be suspicious, do we? 
Uh, I don't know whether the, the AIs here are suspicious of uh, bodies they find lying on the floor. Uh, you'd hope so, but you never know. Well, what's this over here? Some sort of giant teardrop of some description. I should imagine it's just a roof, but it's pretty bad shelter. Where is it? I want to catch that bird! My cat senses are tingling. But who knows? Who knows? Right, so this is the barrow, is it? And we're going to go look for the golden claw. Alright, let's... Uh, well, I, I'm wishing you good luck, guys. I think I'm going to need it as well, so wish me good luck. Okay, sneak mode. Should have been sneaking before I came in here, but we're going to start sneaking now. There appears to be a lot of dead bodies over there. Dead bodies seem a bit deadly to me. Oh, oh. So what happened here? We got skeevers? Okay. Look, there's an ord. Bandit. Why is this bandit dead? Um, there is a lot of dead stuff here. Um, I can only assume that the vengeful spirits of the, uh, the guardians of this place have taken their toll and have struck out against these... So the claw is here. It's been confirmed. Um, huh? Oh, 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 oh! She spotted me ish. Ha, found you. Okay, let's let's go. Okay, taking out the archer first, as always. Because they're rubbish in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now we take this guy on. Oh! Again, I, I feel like it's stolen my kill. I need better armor. I, anyway, let's put that, put that away. I, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a bit Roman legionary in this in this court. Uh, this, this court? In this get-up. And I, I don't feel like being a Roman legionary. At the same time, I really don't feel like being a sort of a Nord walking around in fur and stuff. I mean, fur might be some of the, the, the better um, armors out there. Um, we should probably look into what I can do for armors. The, uh, like, I'm definitely feeling light armor. Perhaps uh, next leveling up, we should look into the perks of the light armor. Um, that would save us a lot of the, the hit points that we've been taking. Might be, a be might be a good idea, guys. What do you think? Okay, so we have our first lock picking of this particular barrow to be done. Wish me luck, guys. I've not really done much on the lock picking skills, so uh, so 24 lock picks with a level 20 skill and a novice pick. So let's just try it there. That's wrong. Let's try it over there. That's wrong. And down here. Oh, what about over here? Oh, well, fourth time lucky. That well-known saying. Uh, golden, golden necklace. That's, uh, you can always, always depend on bandits to have some valuable stuff to steal, I suppose. Um, the rebel scum, they always keep stealing stuff and... Can I clear these cobwebs? I don't, I don't want to walk through these cobwebs. It's... Ew. Ew. Oh, it's on me. And how did anyone get through this before? Wait, what? They were t saying that people have gone ahead. They must have some pretty quick, fast, in quick, fast, quick, fast working <laughs> spiders here. Yeah, no, I can't clear it. I'm gonna have to walk through. Ah, I'm gonna have to clear my fur and everything now. Uh, I was meant to put another plug in on. Um, so um, I'm gonna gonna uh, uh, tick the box next time I play for the hunger and clean well I'm not sure about cleanliness but the hunger and thirst and stuff like that because um, I feel it would add a, a, an extra level of immersion to the to the game um, so that when I'm deep in here I'm like oh I'm hungry I'm so so hungry uh, nothing in there nothing in there ski tails all right, well, at this most quiet of points, after we have made uh, a, a beginning headway into this Barrows, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, and please do join me as we try and clear out the rest of this place uh, tomorrow. So, yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.